welcome, welcome to another video, welcome to Settlement Survival. Yes, we are back and we are doing a, another guide. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm not doing too bad. Thanks for asking. I know you didn't ask, but just in case you did, I am not doing too bad. So, I had some messages, yes I did, about the good old food issue that you get in the first year of Settlement Survival. Now, your main goal really is when you first start out, you need to make sure that the food is going to be one of your main priorities. Food and water in your first year. After that, you'll concentrate more on clothing. Um, so, but here today, we are dealing with food. So, how can you get more food? Right, well, farms are obviously one of the biggest things to actually get um the standard standard ones like this are good um but you can actually get bigger ones that you can just do yourself the bigger the field the more people you will need to actually produce the food okay so you've got food that's one way to actually get um more food if you like if you if you can get two people doing it it gets it done quicker so the second way not very good in the winter the second way is a hunting lot a uh, hunter's hut okay as you can see they will get meat the more people you put in there the more yield you'll get for the hunter's hut so that's two ways that you can get food three ways is a livestock so you can raise livestock here and lower the amount you kill so the start slaughter would only be four for instance for that so now he's got he's going to kill quite a bit of turkeys um as you can see there so you've got that field hunter's hut and that the next thing you have got is a governing hut okay um i don't think i've just got this one on this quick game that i'm doing um so we can actually put one of them in now so a gatherer's hut. Now the best places for gatherer hut are actually in the woods. So we're just going to stick that there for instance. So a gatherer's hut will collect all the vegetables and stuff that are lying about within that circle. They will not collect any vegetables or anything over that circle. So everything has got to be in it. The more people you put in there, the better chance you get of getting seeds and food. So the next way of getting food or better food is going to the development tree going to um process uh, no construct no it's not it's logistics actually go to logistics and start to open this now a basket gives you plus 50 more um food wise okay you do need reeds so that is something you can't do probably straight away um and then backpack expansion this is increased by 80 for the people that are picking up stuff, picking up vegetables and bringing them back, okay? So they will carry products to warehouses after their backpack is full. So this gives them an extra 80 spaces. This gives them an extra 100. Now, if you can, obviously, this is a bit later on in the game, but a handcart would be absolutely brilliant because there's 150 capacity. But that is much later on. So food-wise... You've just got these five sort of ones. You've got farms, hunter's hut, pastures, and the gatherer's hut. So that is four. Now, if you go to development and you go to processing, and then you've got meat processing. Um, so meat processing is obviously basically a butcher, and it produces meat. So you can get it chopped up. So one turkey, at the moment, hit. <clears throat> just say for instance here we've got 84 turkeys okay that's only 84 bits of food that we've got if you put them into a butcher's you could get 84 and if they cut them into chunks you could end up getting about 150 200 meat out of them 84 turkeys um so it basically makes the butcher makes the meat smaller into chump uh chunks if you like um so that's something where you can make one little bit of food and make it expand um so a butcher's hut 
a butcher's shop is very very good for that um definitely worth while trying to get one of them you can get them on early days um beef turkey and alpaca meat okay um yeah it's 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 much better you can get it early on in game so that's definitely worth getting a butcher's shop because they can chuck chop the meat into smaller bits and it it spreads out more um so yeah that is that is basically that and from what i can think about guys that is really all you can do um there is another way of doing it that's early on you can do it straight away is you can have small trading um so you can do small trading and you can actually bring food in now you don't have to use coins if you don't want to if you haven't got any coins you can trade with various factions that are on here um if i've got say i've got some iron or i can i can exchange it or some spirits um if you're going to do that make sure you look at all four factions or five factions and make sure who is actually buying the more for coins um then you use the coins to buy some food if you really need to if you're that desperate inclined um and also just a little tip so say i just want to say right i want to gather plants okay and i want to gather plants here that's all i want just want to gather plants let's get on it let's crack on it let's boom it let's boom it right now as you can see these these will start to gather loads of plants as you can see okay but when you done it they didn't do it right now this is a thing okay now 11 people have gone to get them if you've got no people up here they won't collect nothing because it's only the laborers that will come and gather the plants so you're trying to get them to collect food but they're not doing it the reason behind that is because literally you need to make sure you've got laborers if you're desperate for food and you haven't got a lot of people you need to reduce something on people um if it's a builder take it down to one you're not building nothing you're just getting food so get rid of all the builders turn it off and that's how you turn it off there you turn the whole lot off get them to gather uh, vegetables wild fruits and so on so you can get some more food going in if you do not have anyone up there no one will collect any thingy you can keep doing this and keep doing that and say oh come on collect it collect it collect it but they won't because you haven't got any laborers it's only laborers that will pick up the actual vegetables out in the wild so you need to reduce the number that's one of the reasons why you'll find that you keep doing it and they're not actually going to pick anything up it's because they can't you haven't got anyone to pick it up everyone in jobs let's just say it's in the winter i can close that field they will automatically become a laborer as you can see we've got 11 there if i close this field we're on pause 11 if i close this field it goes to 13. so when the if if you keep it like this they will stay like that even in the winter if they're not planting they them two people there are still connected to that field they won't become laborers they won't become and do something else because they're field people okay so you need to close it now them two people will become automatic laborers so i can close this one now we've got 15 laborers so you can actually close the fields down in the winter when you're not growing like i am now i can leave them off um and it gives me another four people extra there now they're laborers so now they're going to go out and gather some plants so i've got 15 people now gathering a little bit of plants wild vegetables and so on and that will make that go up higher so remember if you've got no laborers you've got no pickers thank you so much guys i hope this has really helped until next time, I muchly, muchly appreciate you being here. And if you can, please, please, please leave a like on the video. Share it if you need to share it. And please subscribe down the bottom right hand corner. Just another little tip just before we go. How do you get new seeds? Well, you get new seeds by getting laborers. Now, a lot of people think, okay, that you get seeds quite a lot by the gatherer's hut. And you do. <clears throat> they do do that. The quicker way to do it is to get labourers. Make sure you've got labourers. 
and let them do the whole lot. Just do the whole lot. Make sure you've got labourers. They will start going out and they will actually find new seeds when they're picking it out in the in the woods and the forest. So there's a little tip there to leave you with just before we leave now. Um, so yes, very, very, very important that is. Well, guys, if you like it, then please leave a like. Please subscribe down the bottom right corner and I will see you in another guide very, very, very soon. Apart from that, I will see you in a different game on the channel. See you later.